Fire crews from Camp Pendleton will soon deploy to fire ravaged areas on the West Coast where firefighters have spent weeks battling historic and deadly wildfires with little rest. Christina Coleman has that. The U.S. Marine Corps getting the call in the fight against wildfires out west. Dozens of Marine reporting for duty at Camp Pendleton, training to help firefighters establish a foothold on the front lines. I have about 80 Marines in my platoon, and every single one of them volunteered. In my platoon, over 50% of them is from California. So a lot of it hits home to them because, you know, it's, it's where they're from. It's where they were born and raised. They're used to working in small units. They're uh, used to adapting and overcoming. Their help badly needed in California. In Southern California, the Bobcat fire has burned more than 91,000 acres, doubling in size in just two weeks. Wind is pushing the fire further north and threatening some desert communities. Further north in the Bay Area, extremely poor air quality leading officials to issue a spare the air alert. It's the 31st such alert this year, a new record. It's awful. We have a running group, so um, it's limited a lot. It bothers me, it gives me a headache, makes my eyes water, all that. And in Oregon, some rainfall this weekend is a welcome relief for firefighters. As of now, all of the major fires in Oregon are at least 10% contained. They've burned at least 1 million acres and destroyed at least 2,000 homes. Back here in Southern California, cooler temperatures are offering some relief to firefighters and helping them gain some ground as these wildfires continue to burn in rugged and steep terrain. Reporting in Monrovia, California, Christina Coleman, Fox News.